Hi there, this is Bob from Insidium. It's Top Tip Tuesday time. And on today's video, we're going to be looking at Nexus and we're looking at the amazing NX question. More specifically, we're going to see how we can use this to control things like particle size, particle color, and we're going to control it using fields. So let's jump into cinema and start that clock. Here's our scene then, and we've got these particles born on the surface of our wolf head. These have a radius of two centimeters. Let's say we want to scale these up and change their color. Well, we'll do that with an NX question. Here is our empty NX question object. And if we want to just affect all particles immediately, we don't even need a question. We can just set an action to do those things. So let's add an action. The default action is set color. Let's just change it from yellow to blue hit play, and those particles immediately have their color set to blue. If we want this to be a more gradual process, look, we can just reduce the weight of that set color action, and they'll gradually turn blue over time. Okay, very good. Let's add another one. We want to add a set radius this time to make them bigger. So I'll just hold control, drag this down to copy it, and this second one, this copy, will change it from a set color to a set radius where are you there and put this on say 20 centimeters and because we copied this it's got this has got a low weight of four percent as well so it's going to gradually grow up if we wanted it to be immediate just have it on 100 percent okay cool so let's say now that we want this to happen if we have a look in our object manager here look we've got a field which we can activate this is a keyframed field let's say that we want this change of color and change of radius to happen only when the particles are inside this field well there's two things that we need to do to set that up first we have to go to the fields tab of our annex question object and drag in the field we want to use then let's go back to the object tab and now we need to ask a question are the particles inside the field if they are, do these two actions. So let's just hold control, click on this one to deselect it. Now we're gonna go to our add question. We'll put our set color and set radius as a child of the question. So this question has to pass, has to be answered yes for these actions to now take place. And by default, if we click on it, this question is set to a particle age. If the particle age is greater than 30 frames, then set the color and set the radius. So now this should only happen after frame 30. Let's have a look, hit play. Yep, at frame 30, those actions are fired. But we don't want it to be an age. We want to ask, are the particles inside this field? So all we need to do is go to the data type and change it from age to field. And now it's saying, is the field value, if uh, the field value is greater than 0.5, then action those set color and set radius. And so the value is, is this. A field works with a number between 0 and 1. Anywhere inside the inner falloff sphere has a value of 1. Anywhere outside the outer sphere has a value of 0. And this bit from here to here is the fall off from zero to one. So what we're saying with this default setup is if that value is greater than 0.5, so if a particle is from here inwards, it will have those actions triggered. Let's have a look. So only particles that get within that field, yep, are having that action triggered. Perfect. If you want it to use the entire so as soon as a particle gets anywhere inside the outer one all you've got to do is is it greater than zero if it's greater than zero let's have a look yep as soon as the particles get within that outer sphere they have those actions triggered excellent so let's just do one more thing let's say that we want these to scale back down once they go outside of the field well we can do that we need to add another question let's just deselect this so if we add a new question and bring it below because it does them in order we're saying if the field is greater than zero do this if it's not do something else is what we want to say so we can go to our second question and just change it from an if to an else and let's just copy this set color and copy this set radius 
put the set radius we don't want it to be a child the set color let's put it back down to our um, original uh, purple color so we can just pick that color and the set radius we'll put it back down to the original two okay so now it's saying if it is within the field change if it's not change it back and that's working and if we want this to scale down more quickly we can go to this else set radius and just increase that weight so it scales back down more quickly yeah that's scaling down perhaps a bit too quickly now and it's fading back to that original color so that's how we can quickly and easily set up fields questions for your particle simulations